guys and welcome back today oh my gosh i have not been this excited for a foundation and so i don't think i've ever been this excited for a foundation oh so we're testing out a new foundation today and it's not actually new but it's new to the us i've been waiting for this to come and this is a foundation from guerlain and i when i first saw the bottle of this foundation i'm I knew I had to have it instantly. Like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is their Natural Glow Foundation 16 Hour Wear with Sunscreen. Let me show you this, guys. Look at this bottle. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I, I cannot get over this, this packaging. Like, whoever designed this needs a bonus. I, I love this so much. Anyways, this is their 16 Hour Wear Foundation and we're gonna test it out today. So the sunscreen ingredient in here is titanium dioxide. It is only SPF 20. Again, do not rely on your foundations for your sunscreen. You need a separate sunscreen. This is just a little extra protection. So I have more information on sunscreen and why you can't just wear that for your sunscreen. If you wanna check out that sunscreen video, I will link it up below. Link it up below. That made no sense. I will put it up here. I'll also link it below so you can see that. Anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna put this on and Lincoln's gonna climb all over me. And we're gonna go throughout the day and see how it wears. But um, we're about to cut to me not having makeup on and my hair is wet. So just be prepared. I've got lots of acne going on and um, wet hair. So, all right, let's go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to putting this foundation on. I am so excited. I feel like um, this has been staring at me for the last few days. Just oh, I cannot wait to put this on. This is in the shade. 00N porcelain and I believe this was the lightest shade they have and I think it's going to be a pretty good shade match here shake well before use apply the face then use a brush a sponge or your fingertips to blend in so I'm going to use a sponge today because that's typically how I like to apply foundations there are some that I prefer the brush with but we're going to start with a sponge and see how how it goes so this top comes off and there is a little pump so I'm going to pop some on the back of my hand. And as you can tell, there's quite a few pretty bad breakouts to cover up. I think this is a more of a medium coverage foundation, but we'll see how well it covers that up. My skin has been going crazy lately. I don't understand what's going on. So let's see. It looks like it's a pretty good shade. Um, I was gonna say it looked a little dark, but it actually, is blending in nicely so i would call that sheer coverage that's not even light that's pretty sheer on that first little bit i'm gonna put a little bit more on and see if we can cover up at least some of the redness from these breakouts and again a brush may have a little bit more coverage so i might try the brush on the other side it is definitely a dewy foundation which i'm not mad at Okay, so that is two light layers. It is a little bit dark on me. It's definitely a pretty sheer foundation, which is kind of what I expected with it. So I am going to go ahead and use a brush on the other side just to see if there's any better coverage, coverage especially on the first uh, layer. I think the coverage is pretty similar with the brush, um, but the finish, it looks about the same. So I think you could go either way with this for application. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the brush for the rest. The forehead. All right, so there is what the foundation is looking like on the skin. Again, pretty light coverage, and it's, it's quite dewy, but I really like the way it feels on the skin. It's, feels super hydrating. It doesn't feel greasy. Um, it is a little tacky because it's pretty dewy. I will probably set part of my face. I'm definitely gonna have to conceal some of these areas because they're, you know, they're there and this isn't covering it up. But I do like the overall effect and look of this foundation so far. So if I didn't have all these active breakouts, it would probably look a little nicer. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. I'm gonna use some concealer. I'm gonna try not to put concealer everywhere so I can really test out the wear of this foundation. I may, just, I may not put concealer up here and just put it on some of these spots here. And then I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and I'll come back and let you see how it is looking on the skin 
The time, by the way, is 9.30, so. All right, I will be right back. All right, guys, I gotta say, I am so pleasantly surprised by this foundation. Not necessarily surprised, but I'm happy that I'm not disappointed. This feels so good on this skin. My face just feels comfortable, if that makes sense. Like, it's just hydrated and it's not too sticky, but it feels, it just feels good. I am, I'm super excited by this, especially since the Milk found Foundation Stick disappointed me so much. I really wanted this one to work for me, and so far, I really, really like it. I'm gonna pull you in a little closer so you can see. It's just really plump and smooth. The Milk Makeup one kind of made me feel older and wrinklier. This one just feels smooth. So here's the foundation up close. Again, not the greatest coverage, but I don't mind that. I, I can spot conceal and not have to have huge heavy mask all over my face in spots that I don't necessarily need it. I didn't put any concealer on my forehead and it doesn't look that bad. And I also, I did not powder my forehead. I wanted to see how the foundation did on its own. And again, it dried down enough. It's not super sticky. I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm super excited to see how this wears and and I'll also test this out further and let you know more than just the first impressions later on after I've tested it more. But so far, guys, I'm super excited about this foundation. And yes, it is Guerlain and yes, it is $60, but $60 isn't that bad for Guerlain. I mean, it's not a $115 foundation. This for me is doable. I mean, the Hourglass Vanish foundation is 56. So four more bucks and you get this. I just, the packaging drew me in, the claims drew me in, and I am super excited to see how this wears. I feel like it looks so pretty on the skin. Like, I'm excited, can you tell? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go about my day. We are actually gonna be out shopping. We have to go to Costco today. Our family reunion is this weekend. I'm so excited to see everybody. There's like 50, 60 people. It's lots of little kids running around. We're gonna have a lot of fun swimming and I'm super excited. Anyway, so I'm gonna help mom go pick up all the food. It's a lot of food for a lot of people, so I will do some check-in. I'll take my vlogging camera with me and see how it's looking out in natural light and see how it fades throughout the day, how, how it holds up. This does claim to have a 16-hour wear, so I'm hoping that it will last through my day, so we'll see. But right now, I'm super excited. Oh, I love it so much. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few hours. It is 10.04, by the way. Okay, so I wanted to show you the foundation real quick um, before I leave. It's been on, it's been on for about an hour. And I gotta say, I'm still loving this. I, I almost, like when I'm out today, I almost don't want to look in a mirror because I don't want to be disappointed. I hope that it holds up like this and looks this beautiful and smooth all day and doesn't sink into any lines. But my forehead, okay, if you saw the milk makeup, video milk makeup the flex the flex foundation stick you will know that there's a wrinkle right here that i have named sally <laughs> and sally is not showing up as much as she normally does so i'm excited about that girl on foundation oh so pretty hoping that it stays like this all day stays smooth and hydrating and plumping to the skin like this is a foundation that's going to be good for more mature skin and i think girl on is more targeted towards more mature let's just say they're older Typically the Guerlain, people who have money are typically older, so does that make sense? Okay, so anyways, with that aside, I think this is going to be a good foundation for those who just want to even out the skin tone, don't have a whole lot of blemishes and stuff to cover up, but want a smooth, plumping foundation. So, so far, I'm loving this. I cannot wait. I'm kind of nervous. I hope that it lasts well throughout the day. So I'm gonna go have some lunch in just a little bit and we're gonna go shopping and I will check in probably about 12-ish or so. So see how it's holding up, see if it's still looking good. Hopefully it doesn't get any cakey. I really wish these stupid pimples would go away, but it is what it is. All right guys, I'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, it is now 12:18. Let's check. It's definitely not looking as good as it was when I first applied it. I can definitely see some wear. The forehead has a little bit of, um, it's worn off right here, and then there's some like separating right here. It's a little bit heavier around the nose. Um, but from far away, like if you're not like up in my face, I think it still looks pretty um, dewy and plump. So 
mad yet. We'll see how it ends up in a couple more hours. Kylie, how does my face look just from right there? Not good at judging makeup. Oh, I'm not asking you to judge makeup. I'm just asking you, do I look good? Do I look bad? Does it look like really horrible? Does it like... It doesn't look horrible, no. Okay. <laughs> She's about as much help as Lincoln. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're gonna continue um, shop shopping and I will check in in a couple more hours and see if it's gotten any worse. It looked so good when I applied it. I'm a little bit sad, but we're gonna keep going and see. And I am gonna test this out several different days in different ways, different powder and all that. So, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, it is 3.35. I am currently, <laughs> it's a beautiful face. <laughs> currently editing my milk makeup foundation review that's going up tomorrow which is Tuesday but I figured I'd do one more check-in on the vlogging camera and then after dinner I will check in and kind of finish up this on the main camera but uh I like this in the car I know it did not look the greatest there's a couple areas that didn't look good but I just looked in the bathroom mirror and my skin still looks really smooth um and I, f I really feel like it's worn pretty well like the coverage that it had is still there I feel like it's held up really well so I will check in with you after dinner and give you my final thoughts on this but I am still enjoying the way this is looking and feeling on my skin all right guys so I almost forgot to close out this video my sister Kylie is staying the night um, sorry for the crunching. Lincoln, Kylie are eating popcorn and we just made some popcorn and we're gonna sit down and watch a movie. And uh, I remembered I didn't finish talking about this. So I love this foundation. Isn't it beautiful? Watch, watch this, ready? It's a pump. I really enjoyed the foundation. Oh, he wants popcorn. It's like, mom. I feel like my skin felt hydrated all day long. I think that there's still some coverage there. I think that it, it's definitely worn off some, but it is about seven o'clock. I can't remember what time I put this on. It's been a long day. Anyways, I thoroughly enjoyed this foundation, especially after the milk makeup fail. I'm extremely happy with this one and I can't wait to test it out some more. And as always, I will definitely keep you updated on whether I'm still loving this or not. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Bye. The Girl On Foundation. I don't know how you actually say it like with the accent or whatever. It's French, right? Girl On. Girl On. Girl On. Girl, girl On. <laughs> That's cool. I love this. And if you have any ideas of how it's to photograph like, this, it's off center. Yeah, it's like. I know, but I like it. I love it too. It's so. Anyways, the packaging aside, that's what I thought of. Especially, especially, especially since the milk. <laughs> bottle is designed to promote recycling. Is that because it's so pretty that you want to keep it and use it for something else, babe? No, you're so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Prepare your... <gasps> okay, one, you dropped my pretty bottle. Two, it was on my toe. Just a little extra protection. <laughs> That's so pretty. Oh, Instead of watching a movie, I'll just watch the... <laughs>